like what I was ta- uh, maybe Robin knows about this too. What I was talking about in the neighborhood, I what I was talking about in the neighborhood I live at, like how the people showed up my house trying to pretend like they like people were outside driving around trying to pretend like they were mob guys, like they were they were it was do- they were doing the contract stalking, working for the po- working for the cops and the Freemason stuff. In the town I live at, there ain't no real Sicilian mob. There's like no Sicilian mob. Like you got to go to Chicago or New York, and they were pretending like they were, uh, like they were wearing big, like three piece suits and stuff. Like they were really passing themselves off and made guys, but it looked real though. It didn't look like no, like they they were for real. It looked like some FBI undercover type stuff. And the thing about it is, is like you know, and the mob has crews, right? Like like you know how you got like a a boss, like a, a super boss or a boss. And then you got all the uh, the captains down to the soldiers. And then you got crews and all that stuff. Like I was thinking, like what the fuck? Like how would that look? How would that look to the to the real like the real made guys? How would they view that? Like that if they it was people making like fake crews, pretending like they had made guys and stuff. Like like it, th- that'd be like some people trying to that'd be like a bunch of people pretending like they were crip shot callers and stuff. You know what I mean? Well, they're probably going to find themselves assaulted somewhere. They're probably going to find themselves all tore up somewhere. <laughs> you know, really. <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> Believe me. Yeah. You know. Yeah, they true. Yeah, when I was first married, I didn't know what was going on. And we lived in New York City temporarily. And my husband was coming home one night and he came in the door and he was totally like tore up. He was beat up from head to toe. And I asked, yeah, he had sidewalk marks on his face. Okay, that's how bad he was beat up. He had black eyes. His whole face was like, like what do you call that when you get um, dragged on the sidewalk? You get that. You know what I mean? Like you were dragged, you know, I'm talking about on his face and he was, he was beat up really bad. His shirts were all tore. And I was like, his jacket, his shirt. And I said, what happened to you? And he said, I don't know. I got mugged. And so, um, yeah, when I look back, you know, 25 years later, that's not what happened. You know what I mean? If you, um, it doesn't matter uh, w- one little wrong thing of, you know what I'm saying, like that. They that's what they do. They they come and rough you up pretty bad. Sometimes they break bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was. I remember. I remember years. I remember years ago. I remember years ago. I I was reading in the paper how uh, Steven Seagal he was getting like they were t- like the mob in New York was roughing Steven, even Steven Seagal was scared of him. Like, they were telling him, they were telling him that he was portraying them in the movies and all this stuff, and he had to pay his dues, and I guess it it scared him a lot, whatever they were doing to him. They they make the police look like, like, um, like friendly fire. (laughs) It's true. (laughs) If you ever go back in history, it's true. They, they not the people to mess with at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> so, I mean, those movies that they made of The Godfather and stuff, that's exactly what they would do. I mean, the guy treasured his horse and he woke up with the, the, the horse's head in his bed, you know? Because that's the kind of stuff they do. They're kind of like, I mean, now El Zieta and the uh, Mexican Mafia, now it makes, makes um, the next level. So that's happening with them now. So, you know, that's what's happening. So I, I would, I, I hate to say what's coming next for these gang stalkers because they're about to meet like real gang stalkers. That's what I'm saying. How, how, how do they keep like, like with me? These people are private investigators. And they connect to people and hire different people to play different roles and get all in people's business, and nothing can ever happen to them. Like if, if there was a police officer that kept following somebody around on a false investigation, he wouldn't stop. He'd be thrown off the force. But when it comes to the people involved with the gang stalking, it's like nobody's supposed to know who they are or where they're at. They can pretend to be. They can sit there and hire people to wear three piece suits and pretend like you know. 
they, they're, so, so they're, they're in the mob and running around and scaring people. Then at the same time, they're working with the FBI. You know what I mean? It doesn't, it like, it doesn't make any sense how these people can get away with all this stuff. Thank you. 